Hey guys, it's Virginia from thehartographer.com and I want to talk to you about online dating photos. In particular, I want to focus on a recent study that was publicized pretty heavily lately about how there's a cheerleader effect that means that pictures of you in a group tend to average out as making you look more attractive. Something about like the way we perceive kind of the flaws and aggregate with a group of people, like it, it sort of minimizes the idiosyncrasies and weirdnesses to your face that make people potentially think you're less attractive. So the theory is you always look more, like group photos are more flattering and they make you look better. Yes, but, okay, but, big important but, that doesn't mean that group photos are a good idea to use in your online dating profile. They're not. I was so annoyed today. The Smithsonian actually linked uh, to a blog post about this study and they said, use a group photo in your online dating profile as the headline. No, no, you guys, no, listen. That may be true, like that study has merit. I don't mean to discredit the science, but you have to consider the context in which the photo's viewed. Like imagine if you put a group photo of like you with a bunch of friends at a bar as your LinkedIn avatar. No, that's weird, right? Like that's a mismatch for the tone of that photo context. Same with online dating, uh, let me tell you why. Like, yes, I understand your desire to want to show that you're like a social creature who gets out in the world and does stuff and hangs out with people. That's a good instinct, but I cannot tell you how many people I've worked with, uh, worked for, talked to, who whenever they see a picture of you and a couple of your friends, they're like, ooh, who's that cute one? Ooh, I want her number instead. You are so distracting people from how awesome you are when you showcase yourself next to a bunch of other people. Especially, it doesn't work well with family and friends either. Like usually, frankly, your family members are a little bit older than you and so maybe it's obvious that they're family and like you're the intended target, like in terms of visual interest. Like, hey, look at me, this is me with my dad. That still doesn't help. It's still confusing. It's a little bit of a mismatch. And when you see pictures with you and family, it sort of sends this subconscious overly serious message of like, picture me with my relatives. Don't you want to meet mom and pop? Like it's kind of an intimacy overstep, right? You're not supposed to meet somebody's family until you kind of get to know them a little better. You've been dating for a while, right? And the worst is with kids. Don't post any pictures with kids. Even if you clearly caption that it's like you with your niece or something, it doesn't matter. When somebody sees like guy holding baby, that just says baby crazy on the subconscious first like glance read. Even if he makes it clear that like that's not his baby, he doesn't want babies, whatever. It sends a different visual message. So I don't care what your caption says, like no pictures with family. If you must have a picture with friends, like if you must try to do the group thing, try to get something where you're the best lit, you're the focus, like for whatever reason, some composition aspect of the photo like makes you prominent. Um, I just worked with somebody the other day who had a really cute picture where like, she was facing the camera and her friend wasn't. It was clear that they were both at a fun party, but like that friend is not somebody that you're parsing for attractiveness if you're like a guy who's just browsing and looking at them, okay? So that, that kind of thing is what we're talking about. I really wanna stress, like group photos, great. Instagram that stuff, Facebook that stuff. You know people are gonna wind up looking at those channels as they start getting to know you and they'll see you in those pictures and know that you're cute. But when it's that very first, you haven't even met me yet impression and I'm trying to capture your attention amongst a sea of other people who are also trying to capture your attention in the same demographic, don't minimize your chances by highlighting other people. Highlight yourself. Like this is the okay context to be super selfish, just like with a job thing. Like you're not gonna put you and your four roommates when you're applying for a job. You shouldn't put you and your four roommates when you're applying for a boyfriend, a girlfriend. Like that's not how this group photo conclusion should be used. So please feel free to ask me if you have questions. Feel free to send me your group photo and be like, is this, does this work? Sometimes there are little tricks you can do if it doesn't look like you edited a photo. Maybe if you blur some stuff or you darken some stuff, you know, there are ways that can kind of bring the focus on you to make that still work and yet display that you're a social creature. So if you're determined to do it, let me help you do it right, please. You can always track me down at thehartographer.com and I'm happy to give a little free intro advice um, to kind of get to know you and maybe that's all you need. Maybe you just need my, my signing off on a photo. That is fine. If I am helping you connect with people in the world like you want to do, then I've done my job and if you're not a paying client. So please, don't be shy. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'm going to stop harassing you all about photos now. So go tweet it out. Bye. <laughs>